What is up, Destiny Hits What Fam? My name is Narcy97, and today we're going to be talking about recoil control. Now, being able to control your recoil effectively is a staple of any good FPS gamer. To today, I'll go through a few different gun classes and archetypes and show you how to control recoil patterns, but remember, even if a gun is the same class and archetype as another, it doesn't mean it'll perform exactly the same. Take Atheon's Epilogue and Necrochasm, for example. They're both assault rifles, and in the same archetype, but because of certain perks on either gun, they perform differently when it comes to kick. Now, I don't think that just because they have different kick patterns doesn't mean they aren't similar, it just means they aren't identical. Necrochasm, Necrochasm this gun right here, this beauty, has more side to side kick. Well, Atheon's Epilogue. Grab it real quick. Has more vertical kick. So you control them differently. Atheon's up log, you just straight up pull down on the joystick and you land all your hits in a tight knit group. Your accuracy is very good. But with Necrochasm, you kind of have to pull the sides a little bit and down at the same time to get the same tight knit group. So just adjust for whatever gun you're using, get a feel for it, look at its recoil pattern maybe, and see what you have to do to control it. Now let's take a look at two lower rate of fire, higher impact assault rifles like Hakon's Hatchet and Abyss Defiant. Hakon's Hatchet, as you can see here, shoots more up to the left. It shoots pretty far left. Uh, it doesn't really kick up too much. So that basically means that you just have to pull down and push to the left, or push to the right, sorry. You can really just push to the right and, oh, that was way too much, but you can really just push to the right and down and you'll get your tight knit group. For Abyss Defiant, however, it has more up and to the right kick. I'm out of ammo, one second. <coughs> So, when you're shooting it, you're going to want to pull down into the left. Like so. And you can see that's a, <laughs> a pretty tight grouping, you know. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And you can just... Whatever, smiley face, you get the picture. <coughs> Another good example for basic recoil control is shotguns, especially when they're fast firing at full auto. Look at the kick for this found verdict. It's pretty extreme. People will think you're an astronomer, you know, you don't want that mix up in your life. I sure don't. Look at the kick of the found verdict, which is visually noticeable that I'm pulling down. And uh, look how tight that grouping is. It really keeps you from getting screwed. You know, it keeps you from getting you know, neck pain from staring up at the sky. If you need a range of force I'm using for the shotgun, I'm pulling the stick about halfway down, which is much more than you'll normally need to do for anything that isn't a shotgun or a fusion rifle. Now we'll look at higher rate of fire, lower impact hand cannons like Thorn and Word of Crota. With Thorn, the kick is all. Mm, let me switch to it. The kick is all vertical. There's a, and there's a lot of it. As you can see, it, it kicks pretty far up. Um, I love these little thorns. Or, well, little is uh, an understatement there. But with Word of Crota. The kick is more up and to the right. And it's not very far up, you know. The one got about up there, whereas the word gets down here. You know, it's it's half the vertical recoil. So to control where to crow you'll want to pull down into the left to compensate for its recoil pattern. And you'll get a pretty tight knit group there. However, for Thorn, you just want to pull straight down. And 
what I'm doing is tapping my joystick down between shots. I'm not holding down my joystick because if you hold down your joystick, this is what's going to happen. Let me just uh, get a little there. You'll be shooting yourself in the foot. Literally. Huh. Yeah. So that's not what you want to have happen. Obviously, when you're shooting a gun, is to stare at your foot and put giant thorns that are probably poisonous and will cause a lot of disease into them. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Signing off, Guardians.